When I was streaming League a few days ago, there were a lot of people asking me if I was a better player than BoxBox. My response to that one single question was that every single player that plays around the higher elos, they all have a different type of playstyle. So you cannot really compare a Riven main to another Riven main. That's simply how the game works. But then this gave me a new idea, basically making a specific video talking about BoxBox the way he plays the game and make a guide for it. So today's video is going to be a guide on how to play Riven just like BoxBox. BoxBox always plays with three different type of Riven setups. The first setup is the one that we're watching in this clip right now. Basically him playing with Ignite and taking a longsword with three potions against a Gragas. He will most likely play with the setup if he wants to play very aggressive. The only downside effect of this Riven setup is that you might actually get ganked a lot by the enemy jungler since you are not running TP. That's also the reason why he doesn't always play with this setup only if he really wants to play aggressive. This setup is by far his least played setup out of the three. The next setup that you will see is probably one of the most interesting ones of what BoxBox does because this is pretty much what nobody else does. Basically he actually buys Longsword at level 1 with a revealable potion with the meaning of saving gold. You should only be buying this if you know that you can survive the lading phase against whatever you're playing against. This setup makes you very weak in the early game in the early few levels but once you pull through, once you actually make your first backport back to the base, you will have more gold and you will have a lot of gold saved. The last setup that you will most likely see him play with is him playing in a poke matchup and then taking TP with a Dorn shield and one single potion. This is honestly by far one of the best choices you can go for if you find yourself in a matchup where you get poked a lot and Vladimir is definitely one of those matchups. He will also play with Dornblade sometimes just like the Dorn shield but Dornblade is then used for matchups like Aurelia where he needs a little bit of more health. But most likely if he doesn't go for the revealable potion he will most likely play with Dorn shield. He's also got another Riven setup which I haven't really list in the three setups which I mentioned but I will mention it here anyway because he does play with it sometimes but only in very specific matchups. Basically him buying the coal to save a lot of gold and also farm it out to the 100 stacks, he will only buy this item against champions where he can truly only farm and one of the examples of them is Singed. I do not recommend you guys to buy this item for your games unless you play against a Singed because this item makes you very weak in the laning phase. As for the mid to the late game item build, he will most likely buy Dead Stance with Black Lever and a Guardian's Angel together with Ninja Tabis or Mercs in almost every single game that he plays. He does make a few exceptions here and there to buy a Hex Rinko or buy a QSS, but generally you will find him buy Black Lever and Dead Stance and Guardian's Angel most of the time. As for his runes, you won't really find him play with the exact same rune page every single game. He actually tries to adapt and change towards the game every single time. But there's a few exceptions here and there where he used to play with only one single rune page. And the one single rune page I'm talking about is Conqueror together with Inspiration in the secondary tree with taking the free boots with the 5% CDR as well as taking CDR scaling in the bonus stats with one point into the AD and one point into armor. This is by far his most used rune page if he didn't change to other runes yet. As for his gameplay itself, he actually duo queues a lot and there's actually one guy in specific which he duo queues with a lot. There's this guy named King Nidhogg, he's a main jungler and they both have an amazing strategy 
towards winning games. Boxbox has a very unique way of playing the laning phase. Basically, 99% of the games that he will play, he will always try to set up the lane for a gank. Basically, he will always try to get the ward dominance and play safe around his tower so he can set up the entire laning phase towards a jungle gank, which will then result in a free kill. This is basically where King Nidhogg comes into place. If he do accuse with King Nidhogg as the main jungler, they both have communication together through voice and they get a ton of kills. Just pure with the set up the lane for ganks and talking to each other with everything, they get very far. Then again, he doesn't always do a queue with King Nidhogg only. He does also play solo queue a lot, just pure solo without anybody else. Boxbox also has very interesting stats. It's very different from other Riven mains. Basically, if you take a look at his Riven stats, he will have an average of about 175 CS farm per game. He's also got about 7 kills per game on average and he's also got 7 deaths on average per game. That's something that you don't actually see a lot from other Riven mains, but there's something very interesting about that. If you take a look at Boxbox Riven's kill participation, if he goes on a very big winning streak, he will most likely have very high kill participation. This is something that you don't really see a lot from Riven mains in the top lane because generally, most Riven mains do not really try to participate in team fights. They will most likely split push all the time and do other stuff to pressure and win the game. However, in the case of Boxbox, he's always trying to compete in all of the team fights. He's always trying to find a way, whether it's by TP or roaming all around, he's always trying to find kills and trying to participate in as many team fights and as many kills as humanly possible. Obviously, having about 7 deaths on average per game might not be the best thing in the world. However, since he's always trying to compete in every single team fight and every single thing that's out there, he's also using himself as a tool to engage into team fights. So having about 7 deaths on average per game, definitely it's not a good thing, but it doesn't slow him down as much as another Riven player would. As for the rest of his gameplay, he's always trying to find a way to get ahead of the enemy team. And one of these ways to do it is by stealing the enemy blue buff and stealing the enemy jungle camps. This is a very normal way and actually a very abusive way to get ahead in the game without actually taking kills. As you guys can see right here, he's just sitting in the brush while his team is fighting the rest of the enemy team. He was already standing ready there in case they needed some help. But since they don't really need help, he just gone back to the top lane to push it all out and like get the tower for free and stuff. This is pretty much the way that he plays all the time. So basically to play the same way like Boxbox does, you will have to split push as much as you can, trying to get kills on the side. But if a team fight starts all around the top lane or the mid lane, you want to make sure that you always have a way to help them out. So one of the ways could be to have your teleport up. Another way could be to have a ton of pressure on the side and winning very hard against him and then find a way to group up with the team and help them out. This is pretty much the way how Boxbox plays the game. Now I have a question to you guys. Do you think that this video is helpful? Let me know in the comments down below guys. Just a reminder, if you think that this video was very helpful to you, do not forget to subscribe and also do not forget to like. So let me know if I should make more videos about this in the future because I've already done a ton of research about all the other Riven mains in order for myself to keep up with new stuff and all of that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. Once again, if you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments down below, guys, and I will create more of them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you are looking for a high elo stream, do not forget to check out my stream, guys. I am definitely streaming a lot. And also, if you want to talk to me, do not forget to join my Discord server, guys, because I am on my Discord server a lot. 
and I'll catch you guys up in the next upcoming video and also the next upcoming stream, man. Peace.